Let me give you a quick reality check. If your store gets 1000 visitors a day and you're converting at the industry standard 2%, you'd be making 20 sales a day. But if your conversion rate is below 1%, like ours was, that same traffic only turns into fewer than 10 sales, which means hundreds of thousands of rupees of potential revenue are walking out of the door every single week. For example, with an average order value of 1500, 1000 visitors converting at 2% equals 30,000 in daily revenue. Whereas converting at 0.8% equals just 12,000 and that's 18,000 lost every single day. Clavio, an email marketing tool actually helps you in solving just that and the link will be down in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So go check it out. But big brands don't lose these sales because they have a full-time team whose whole job is to follow up, segment customers, test messages and squeeze every single drop of value from every visit. Whereas you, you are running the store, managing orders, taking photos, handling returns. Well, you don't have that team, especially in the start and you shouldn't have to. So what do you do when you can't call every single cart abandoner or handhold every new subscriber? That's where Clavio becomes your secret weapon. It acts like a 24 seven marketing team that watches what people do, automatically nudges cart abandoners and you can realistically recover 15 to 20% of those cards. It also helps you convert new signups with a welcome series. And the best part is it drives repeat purchases without any manual work. In short, you have to just set it up once and it keeps pulling revenue in. I'll show you exactly how this works and how you can set up email marketing for your own e-commerce brand. And I'll be doing that for Imbuzi, my clothing brand. Okay, so here we are on my laptop and here I will first tell you how to connect Clavio with Shopify. So once you've connected Clavio and Shopify, then we will move over to email marketing and other things. So the first thing is go over to home. Just make sure that you've registered on Clavio. And once you've logged in, the next thing that you need to do is go over to integrations, right? Here you will find a lot of different apps. The app that we will be using is going to be Shopify. So let me just search that up Shopify. Okay. Shopify is here. And next thing is going to be adding this to your Clavio's dashboard. All right. So I've added it over here. The integration is added. Now we need to connect our website with Shopify's integration. So in order to do that, you need to add your store URL. How do you get your store URL? Well, just go over to Shopify, log into your Shopify store. Okay. So once you've logged in, just search for Clavio and here you would find email and SMS marketing. It'll take you to Clavio's page itself. So once you've done that, confirm integration and it will connect your store with Clavio. So once you've done that, the next step is going to be about on-site tracking. So Clavio basically enables on-site forms. It collects active on-site events and other things as well. So that's really important if you want to have really good data and want to target your customers effectively. The next step is syncing settings. So let me just sync all of my Shopify email subscribers. So the next thing is going to be just update these settings. All right, so it's asking me to confirm this integration, update integration. It's as easy as this. Okay, so the next few things that we'll be doing is going over to campaigns and learn every single thing there is to learn about campaigns. So how to set up email marketing campaigns, how to make sure that your campaigns have the most ROI and also that the customers actually end up opening your emails. We'll talk about these things as well. We'll talk about flows, which essentially means how to make sure that, you know, abandoned card people, which essentially is going to be about how to make sure you recover abandoned cards, how to send out customer thank yous, so on and so forth. So these will be automated uh, flows that we'll be setting up. Then is sign up forms. If you've visited any of the top e-commerce websites, you'd see that there is this type of a sign up flow over there. So what they do is they collect audiences, email addresses, and once they have enough email addresses, they'll send and nurture that audience in order to sell uh, higher and higher products. Then we come over to reviews. So over there we can set up our own reviews. We can have customers send us reviews on our website so that everyone else can see it and so on and so forth. So all of these things will be covered in this one single video. So let me just have Clavio just guide me through the first campaign. Then we need to set up our email campaign. So here 
there will be three main things segment which is which are the people that we want to target the second is going to be the email design of course we need to design the email as well and then sender information so anything say for example it is hey ali so ali is going to be a variable so there are certain sender details that we can incorporate within the uh, email as well so things like that need to be done so let's go ahead and click on next Share a general announcement, send a newsletter, promote a sale, so on and so forth. So let's just add share a general announcement. Engage in the last 30 days, ever purchased or VIP. Let's click engage in the last 30 days and then we'll click next. Now here we need to select a design. So whatever design that goes according to your brand, if you want to create your own template, you can absolutely do so. But for now, I'll just use this particular template. So here we have a ready to go template that we can directly use. Let me just use this. And if you want to change anything over here, I need to change the image first of all. So I'll just add a product image. Okay, so I've added a product image. Oh, we are going global. Let me just add, we're coming out with a new drop soon. Now, even stay tuned. Okay, so we've done that. Then is place an order. So to change the color of the button, just click on style. Okay, so we are done creating the template for our email. The next step is going to be confirm this email template and then we can start by sending out a test message. So the subject line would be colorless behavior is back in stock. Good to go. Then preview text. Sender name Imbuzi, sender email. Now in the sender email, I'll just change it to Imbuzi's official email address and use that as reply to as well. Now, if you want to know how to create such business emails completely for free, I've made a separate video for that. So go check that video out, but let's go over to the next step. Everything is good to go. Okay, so we have our email template completely ready and we can now send it to all of our customers. So let's go ahead and schedule it. So there will be 96 people who will receive this particular email and it will make sure that it sends to all of these people. Apart from that, there will be subject line and all of these things that you can change and then there'll be tracking as well. So how many people have actually opened it? How many people are actually going on your website after looking at your emails? Everything will be tracked by Klaviyo directly. Apart from that, Klaviyo also provides you an option to add a follow-up email. So say for example, if someone does not open your email, you can send him or her a follow-up email as well. And that would be created directly for these people. So it can be a new subject line. It could be something like follow-up, for Imbuzi's latest drop, right? And let me just change this. Yeah. So follow up for Imbuzi's latest drop, or we can write it as don't miss Imbuzi's latest drop. I think that's much better. Uh, time delay would be 48 hours, and then we can schedule or send it. And let's go ahead. Now we have two options. We can schedule this, or we can just send it right now. If you want to send it right now, you can do that, or you can schedule a specific time. So I'll just set the date as 30th. So that's tomorrow. Uh, the time would be around maybe 4 PM and recipients local time zone. So it will actually look at the recipients local time zone and then send it to him at that specific time. So schedule campaign and let's go. Okay, so the campaign is scheduled and everyone will start receiving these emails in bulk. Now, after you've scheduled your campaign and once it goes live, you can also see their open rate, the click rate and the placed order value as well. So how effective a specific email campaign was for you would actually be very easy to analyze right on Klaviyo's platform. Apart from this, you can also set up some different flows. So say, for example, you want a welcome series. So anyone who adds their email to your email list, they get a welcome series of emails. So there'll be like two or three different emails that you'll be sending to them. Apart from that, you can add an automated email sequence just for abandoned cards or people who have actually bought 
from your website or maybe if you want some reviews for your product you can actually just go ahead and send those emails directly to your customers so you can actually segment your customers depending on their behavior and then send them specific emails this is really important because if you start sending them generic emails they will never open it but say for example if i am a person and i've bought something from your website and then i get a specific email related to my purchase then i'm most likely to open that up so this is where flow helps us and actually segment our customers and then send them personalized emails then there is sign up forms this is very easy it's basically to make sure that the audience that come on your website they see this pop up and then they can add their email in so say for example if they add in their email address you can send them some discount codes depending on your preference apart from that you have different options of adding your form so there is the pop up which is of course the most used one you go on any e-commerce platform you'd see this then there's the full page where it covers the entire page i wouldn't recommend that then there's fly out and then there's embedded so it'll be embedded in your website maybe in the bottom uh, part of your website so teaser is basically even after the person closes the pop up it will still showcase somewhere on the website so you can add a teaser or you can just remove it so that once they close it it's not available for them anymore but i would rather keep it then there is the coupon so you can add a unique coupon code as i mentioned once they add their email address they get a specific coupon so you can actually add that in you can create a shopify coupon directly from clavio and then add it over here so clavio will actually track every single person who has used that coupon so this again gives you another list of customers who are you know adding their email addresses and have used their coupon codes in order to buy your products then you can send them more personalized emails after that for now i'll just add a static coupon so i'll just write it as clavio 100 okay and then next so get 10 percent off and that's it so after you've done that it will create an entire form for you and that's all you just have to click on publish and that's it so this is exactly how it will look on your website you can add the images you can change the images if you want to replace the image or want it as a background image you can change all of these things directly i'll just keep it to background image for now and this looks good to go i don't think we need to add a lot of changes here so let me just edit my form so here i can change the styles the fonts every single thing is available for us over here let me just change the font here and here yeah i think that's it i don't want to change a lot of things i'll just click on publish and get going so that's it for the pop-up once you add it to live it will show up on your website as well just click on exit and now you just have to wait for new submissions to come in now the last part of clavio is going to be reviews now reviews is really important especially if you have a product where reviews matter a lot and generally that's important for you to build trust with your audience so let's just start with reviews and i'll show you exactly how to do that so over here we'll have to connect imbuzi with clavio reviews so let me just go over to shopify and connect Clave your reviews. Once you install that, then you'd be able to add reviews on your website as well. Okay, so let's skip this setup for now. And because I don't want to change a lot of uh, styles and other things. So I'll just skip the setup for now. And let me just enable the app embed just to show you how the reviews actually look like. So let me just click on next, go on store app embed and enable Clave your reviews on our website. So it's already enabled here as you can see so go over to reviews and here as you can see clavio app embed is already live now just click on done the last part is going to be about add product reviews widget so this is the widget that will showcase all the reviews so let me just install this on our website click on install now go over to your shopify dashboard of your website and then just add it in so here you'd be able to see the reviews at the bottom part of the website you can actually change it you can keep it above below you can do whatever you want on the shopify website here in the app section the clavio product review section would be available to you so this is how you add reviews to your products
Now, if you want your customers to add reviews for your products, it's actually added to all of your products once you add it to default product. So I'll go over to my website now. And if I refresh this and go to any product, you'd be able to see the review section at the bottom part. So I'll just go down and this is where you would see all of your reviews. I'll just write a sample review and show you how you can actually add these reviews on your products as well. So the display name would be say Ali. All right. And go ahead and submit this review. So this review has been submitted. It won't show directly, but if you go back to Klaviyo's reviews section, so here we have the review section, all reviews, and there you go. You can see all the reviews that have been uh, sent to you and you can then publish it. You can reject it. You can do anything that you want. And I'll just go back to my website and refresh this because it's published. So it should show on the website as well. So let's just go down and there you go. The review has been published and everyone can see it on your website. Okay, so in this particular video, you've learned everything right from campaigns to flows to sign up forms, adding it on your website reviews. And honestly, if you add all of these sections on your website, it would actually be a game changer. The amount of customers that you can target using these metrics and using these flows is insane. These things are the ones that give you an edge over your competitors. So if you want that edge, you'd have to go through all of these steps and add every single thing on your website to optimize it. If you need any help or have any doubts, leave them down in the comments below. I look at all of my comments and I'll be seeing you in the next video. I hope you guys liked it. Bye-bye. See you in the next one.